All right, so today we are finally going to be taking down another boss. We're going to be fighting the Megapithecus. If you couldn't tell from that amazing thumbnail I got made, my god, we, we really just summoned up some King Kong kind of vibes to get this done. Um, yeah, I've got my giant Spino army here, and uh, all these bags are from the Megatheriums that we had here previously. Apparently, I forgot to clean that up, so it was a real struggle to get all these Spinos in here, and it's the worst thing ever because... Uh, you do all this, and then when you teleport back, they're all just in a massive pile, and apparently that's acceptable. So anyway, yeah, we're going to give this a go. We're going to first of all fight the Gamma one, then we're going to fight the Beta one, and then finally we're going to fight the Alpha one. Now, we've already fought the Broodmother in all three difficulties, and we really struggled on the Alpha the first time we just full-on died. I don't think we're going to have any issues really at all here today. Megapithecus is probably one of the easiest bosses to actually kill, and to be honest, they really need to buff it up at some point, so... Let's just go straight in. Let's do it. All right. Let me pop on some of my armor. You do have to have some fur in here. It is quite chilly. Although I probably didn't really need it for this boss fight because we're only going to be in here for like a minute or two. Why am I doing that? Never mind. I should not be bothering with the fear or with the courage roars at this stage. It's not going to make a difference because when we get into the arena, we're just going to leave the spinos where they came in. I don't want to bring them with me because there's a massive hole that you do not want your creatures to fall into because if they fall in... They're just dust. They're going to be gone forever. So, yeah, um, I'll point it out when we're in there. Most people probably already know about this, but I always like to try and educate just a little bit because I know there's always going to be that one person that goes in, does this boss fight, and doesn't realize that this is a thing. Anyway, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really just help me out. I do appreciate it. And, uh, ooh, there it is up there. I don't want it to come down just yet. Um... So here, hang on. Let me let me just get in here a little bit. Can I? There, there we go. Okay, can I get out? Perfect. All right, I'm going to whistle move two on everybody. Get them all over there. This right here is the giant hole. Do not fall down there. Do not let your creatures fall down there because they will be gone forever. I'm serious. It's happened to me before, and it was like the worst thing about this arena. It's kind of confusing how it's even still a thing, to be honest. But yeah. All right, let's head up here. By the way, I love the Serena. This is one of my favorite ones. It looks so cool. I wish I could spend more time here, but you just can't. So let's get this Megapithecus boss battle underway. I forgot my taxidermy tool. Of course I did. Of course I forgot it. All right, I'm just going to bring my my guys down, bring the monkey down here. Um, all right, let's see. Come on. Unfortunately, you can't make the monkey fall down the hole. That would be great. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's get you guys all on passive and just basically bring the monkey all the way over here if we can probably should have tried to get the spinos over a little bit more i think we need to work on that with the other two boss fights uh i'm gonna let them get hit just a little bit because i don't want them attacking it right now while it's super close to that hole come on monkey over here come on kong oh my god it's doing like no damage i feel like it could take this thing out with like a single creature <laughs> come here buddy hey follow me just stand a little bit more. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll whistle them on if I can. There we go. All right. So, obviously, the Spinos don't get a water buff in this arena. Um, I'm just getting this passive whistle ready just in case. They don't get their water buff, but that's okay. Uh, they don't really need it. I do not want to lose any of these any of these Spinos. I think we're probably good, though. Yeah, they're going to tear this thing apart. All right, let's go ahead and take that away. And let's do some more of these. You know that rock that it throws? It used to actually be able to hit you on your mount with that. I'm so glad that they changed that, though, because that was, like, the worst thing. There we go. Nice. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe I forgot my freaking taxidermy tool. That was really dumb. Uh, you know what? It's okay, because eventually we're going to be fighting the Megapithecus uh, in the arena on Valkyro. And there's, like, just, you know... We can, we can basically just do that fight a couple times just to get a bunch of Dermises if I need extras. But, uh, yeah, so this thing had 180k health, and my Spinos are hardly hurt at all. Um, and the element is on one of my dudes. I don't really know which one. We'll find out after, though. Alrighty, that was easy. Let's head into the next one after we get these things all healed up and find the element and all that good stuff. Alright, oh my god. Okay, we gotta take off the fur straight away. Don't want that on because it's just gonna burn me up. Um, alrighty, let's see. Passive, everybody, just stay still, please. Uh, I think they're all... Yeah, they should all be good to go for the next ba boss battle thingy, the little teleport thing. See, I think they need to be... See, like, this little thing right here? I think they need to be within the circle that... The sphere that this thing would kind of encompass, right? Because I don't think it comes all the way out to here. I'm pretty sure it only comes to, like, here. So, they need to be, like, roughly inside of that. 
And I think we should be good. All right, where the hell is... Okay, let me make sure I grab this taxidermy tool. I want to get some dermises out of this today. Let's see. Uh, where is it? I'm blind. There it is. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and pop that onto the hotbar. All right, let's see. Uh, who has the little thingies what are they called the trophy and then also the element i need to find out which one i could just pull to get the element back out oh my god this one got four levels you must have gotten the kill seriously it gave you that much though that gave you like 100k no way no this thing must have been in the cryopod this must be one of the original spinos I think it might be. That thing was in a cryopod for, or a cryo ball thingy, whatever, soul ball. It was in that thing for ages. So that must be, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I was wondering there for a second, because like 100k off of a, a Gamma Megapithecus makes zero sense. Alrighty, let's see. And also, if it got the kill, it would have the stuff on it. Um, let's see if we can manage to find the, uh, the stuff here. Where exactly is it? I know I should just put them all on the setting where they don't pick up the stuff, but... There's 20 or 18 Spinos here, and I just don't want to do that. That's a whole lot of effort. <laughs> I need to, like, line them up and make sure I get every single one. It's not like something that you can whistle, which I would, it would be great if it was. I'd love that, but it's just not, so. All right, we got to find it. Where the hell is it? Hey, there we go. 40 element and the trophy. All right, let's chuck that over here with some more of our stuff. I think, no, I moved the element from here, didn't I? Where did I put it? I think I might have put it into my base here on the island. We have a lot of element from doing the brood mother, so. Uh, all right, well, I think let's just get them, like, healed up just a little bit. They shouldn't really take too long to heal, but we're going we're gonna to use the snow owl instead of the daedon. I do have a daedon with me here today, but we're going to use that on the alpha one. I don't think I'd need it for that, but we're going to bring it anyway, just in case. All right, I should probably get a proper heal going here. I can hear a snake. There is a snake in here somewhere. There it is. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. The hell are you even doing in here man how the hell did you even get up here i can't even get to you all right so we should be good to go into the next boss fight um let me see there is a timer that you have to wait between them but i think we should be good uh let's see let's get in here okay and the three artifacts by the way in case you're wondering where we got the artifacts we have quite a few of the pack one i believe from what was it again what was that that was the ice queen uh, I did that a bunch of times looking for Megatherium saddles. And then, like, all the other artifacts are, like, really easy to get on maps that aren't at the islands. So that's mostly where I get my artifacts right now. Just because you can. I mean, I'll definitely do some of the caves here. Some of them I've done way too much, so I won't be doing those ones. But I definitely want to do the water caves over here at some stage. So, yeah. Let's go. Uh, where is my Uteranus? I think here. Are you inside of the circle? You might, mm, you might not actually be. Oh, yeah, look, so the sphere basically comes short of that little area that I was kind of talking about earlier. I'm really hoping the Uteranus is going to be in here. I don't think it will, actually. Uh, it might not be. It's uh, pretty kind of far out there. I didn't realize that. Oops. All right, well, let's just hope for the best here. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, the, the beta one is also pretty easy. It's not really going to be too difficult for us to do. Uh, well, we do have the Uteranus. Amazing. Let me just move this Spino. Let me just get everybody over here, actually, if I can. Let's try and get them properly whistled over into the corner. And let's see if we can clear ourselves a path. Oh, that Spino is kind of in the ground. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's just whistle up there so that way they'll kind of all start moving here. Um, oh, yeah, no, no. You go. You go. Go on. Um, it's just so confusing though. Like, why do some of the spinos take ages to start moving and they don't fully like move? It's really confusing. All right, let me just get you over here as well. I love spinos because you can just put them up onto their hind feet and then just kind of like turn the camera. You don't have to like run around in a circle to try and get around. It's great. All right, well, I think we're good to go. Let's see if we can anger this Megapithecus. So I think this one is yellow, I believe, right? something like that it's like yellowy or, or like what color is it it's kind of like a oh wait no it's like a brown why did i think it was yellow <laughs> all right let's see come on buddy maybe i'm thinking of like a modded version or something let's see come on are you what was happening are you gonna come with me come with me if you want to die come on okay let's go follow me oh my god that's a good amount of damage actually all right let's get you back over here lead you to your doom come on buddy yeah i seriously love this arena oh god it's 
so cool looking. Come on. Yes, right down the hill. And then I think we should be good to just run straight over here and just start uh, courage roaring. Boom. Let's get most of these spinas with that. And then another one. I think we need to do three with uh, spinas. Something like that. Boom. There we go. Okay. Let's wait for them to get just a little closer. Let them just tank some damage. It's fine. And now maybe. Yeah. There we go. Whistle. There you go. All right. Get in there, Spinos. Destroy this giant monkey. Like, this thing is honestly just the glass cannon out of all the bosses. Like, it's so easy to kill. It really is. Like, I have super OP Spinos, and they hardly took a lick of damage before. Even with the alpha. Like, they're going to take damage, but they're going to be able to kill it, re like, really, really quick. And Spinos are definitely not the best creature to do this with. You could use Rexes. But uh, I just use these because I have them. <laughs> All right, come on, get in there. Oh man, yeah, look at that thing. Not even all the spiders are actually getting hits in. Some of them are in the back. I kind of positioned them bad, but it's really difficult to do that by yourself. Definitely would have been better to surround it fully. And also we have poop all over the screen right now, which is just super annoying. Can you guys like, let's just fear roar them so they go away. I think that works, right? Fear roar these little monkeys. There you go. Is that making you go away? Nope. All right, this thing's almost dead, though. Oh, man. Come on. And you're dead. Maybe. There we go. Sweet. Oh, yes. Tech rifle. Oh, there is one thing on that list, though. Well, two things I'm really excited about. The trough and the generator. Finally, I'm going to have those two things. I'm really, really excited to get those into my bases and everything. Now we just need the dedicated storage and some other stuff from the dragon boss but um yeah we got a lot of really good things from from the megapithecus that's how much health it had and let's see if we can just quickly find the element if not it's all good you guys didn't really take much damage again i mean they have really good saddles and everything but like even with lesser creatures you could take this thing down i mean goddamn like a couple people on imprinted creatures would probably be game changing like this is me just sending a bunch of spinos unridden in on the boss so yeah uh well you couldn't have got the kill you're like way in the back let me see try and get some of the other dudes around the side here ah never mind we're tp'ing back goodbye monkey <laughs> oh his eyes yellow at least i had yellow kind of right <laughs> all right let's uh let's get out of here and there we go all right who has the element and the trophy and yeah i think the most damage i've seen on one of these dudes is like 6k yeah this one here is down by 6k oh there we go this one down it's down by what is that like 9k and we got 110 element and the trophy all right let's get that over here let's get these dudes all healed we might bring in the daedon for the final one i probably don't need it i probably don't need it huh yeah, it's probably not even worth doing. I mean, like, I could do it. Uh, here it is. It's inside of here. Um, let's see. Crispy bacon right there. Uh, it's not mutated. It's just leveled. Um, and it has all the best stats from the Daedons that we tamed a couple episodes ago. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good Daedon. But it's probably not really even necessary for this. So, you know what? We, we probably won't bring it. I mean, it's definitely not necessary for this type of boss. Like this one, I don't think I've ever failed the Megapithecus besides when it first came out and we kind of went in unprepared. But back then, the game was like very different. So anyway, we're going to get these dudes all healed up, maybe using the Daedon because we can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit for the alpha boss fight. All right, so the Daedon is down by around 75k food. I left some food inside of it. We're going to fly away and then we're going to deload it and then reload it and it's gonna have eaten all of that food which is a nice little i wouldn't really call it like a i guess it kind of is like a little bit of a glitch i don't really know um anyway so yeah basically just eats all of that food and that's a great way to refill it obviously you can't do that in a boss arena if you're fully out of food but uh you can definitely do it outside which helps out quite a bit let's see let's get back down here and you should have eaten all of that. Yep, there you go. And now it's only down by uh, around 55k. So it went up by around 20k uh, food by just devouring all of that meat. Which is honestly fantastic. Definitely a great way to feed them. So a couple stacks of 2,000 in there would have gotten that thing up to 
the max uh food or whatever so i think we are probably a couple minutes out being able to actually do the the uh, alpha boss fight there is like a timer between them unfortunately i didn't get like a little xp bonus this time for some reason i'm not sure why i didn't get that but uh yeah i mean hopefully we could do this soon though i guess we can at least get in here and see can i <laughs> can i get in here there we go i'm in nice all right let's pop all these things in here and just see if we can summon the alpha tribute yeah okay we got one more minute before we can do that not bad all right let's see where's my uteranus i think yeah there's its foot right there <laughs> oh my god this is so messy all right here we go alpha boss fight and we are here awesome okay i don't i don't know what i'm looking at uh where's my where's my uteranus huh where is my is my you did my uteranus not come with us I don't see it. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Wait, no way. No way my Uteranus got left behind. I was like right beside it. It was in the center with me. How did that not count? Uh-oh. Oh, are you are you actually kidding me? Did, is it seriously not here? Or am I just am I just going crazy? Oh my god, there it is. I couldn't even see it. Oh, I guess it's short. It's short, so Oh, dude, that that could easily happen though that type of stuff has happened to me before i mean one time we actually went into a boss fight and just instantly all of our creatures just died and, and we apparently failed it so weird stuff can happen in this game i would not have put it past the game to not bring my uteranus on me can we okay <laughs> so messy let me let me have my uteranus please come here come on i didn't even name you lieutenant dan is obviously what we would name you but um yeah haven't done that just yet Let's see. Let's uh, try and get the rest of these spinos over there without messing anything up. Come on. You go over there. There you go. Let's try and spread them out just a little bit. I'd rather kind of bring the Meg Megapithecus in like the center here if we can, but it's not always an option. Um, okay. Oh my god. I wish, th I wish they would just go when I whistle. Uh-oh. Oh, he's oh, he's getting angry up there. I thought he was about to come down. I think he actually probably will. He might. That's happened to me before where like you didn't even actually get to move all your creatures. He would just come straight down on you. All right. I think we're good. I think uh I think we're good to go. Did I not get a dermis last time? I uh, oh my god, I actually didn't. I need to remember to get one this time. Or did I get one or maybe I just put it away? I feel like maybe I didn't get one last time. Now I'm being really dumb i can't actually remember come on buddy follow me hey how's it going come on your little rock thing's gonna do a lot of damage if it hits me so let's not have that happen Ooh. <laughs> it's bouncing down we're good we're good freaking death bridge oh my god this thing's so fast hello okay everybody meet my new friend ow <laughs> i didn't realize that they were i want them on passive for the moment I didn't realize that they were on uh, neutral or whatever. Okay, come on in just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay, whatever. Let's let's just do it. Boom. Everybody gets a whistle. This Uteranus might need to get out of here because he is getting absolutely bludgeoned to death. <laughs> this is a messy one. This is totally a messy one. We're, we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be fine. Don't worry. Uteranus. If it dies, it dies. I don't think it will because we're still pretty good on health. Uh, let's see. Come on. There's some more whistles for you. Or whistles, roars. That's what they are. Okay, now is, why is it facing me? Look at the army I've built. Fight them. Come on, that one spine over there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, this thing sh it should go down really quick. I, I guess we could also help. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. no. We don't want to do that. I might end up hitting monkeys and then the spinos are on attack my target. So then they'll go ahead and start hitting monkeys as well and i don't want that i want them focused on the big monkey king kong let's go ahead and just take that away so we can kind of somewhat see what's happening <laughs> i gotta remember to get a dermis this time for sure i feel like i might have forgotten the last time and if i did then that was super dumb and if i forgot that i got it then that's also super dumb so whatever happens it's super dumb all right yeah this thing's like basically dead and 
There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> Passive. And give me that dermis. Let me in there. Pretty sure we did get one last time. There we go. Pretty sure we got one. Uh, so yeah, this one had just over half a million health. Uh, again, pretty, pretty freaking easy to kill. I mean, how much damage did anybody take? Kind of like 5k is the usual that we're seeing right now. 6k on that one, pretty much. Uh, this one took a little bit extra. Yeah, nothing huge so far. I mean, there's there's always that one Spino or one creature. This one took 11k. There's always that one creature that just took the majority of the damage, you know? I always end up with, like, just one creature that's, like, hanging on to life or something just because it was, it was the only one that was getting hit. But, like, this one here didn't even get hit really much at all. Like, it's down by, like, a k. So... Yeah, I think 11k is probably the most. Maybe this one, this one here. Oh, is that the one I'm looking at? Okay, yeah, it's just, its leg was kind of bloody. I figured maybe that one was like super hurt, but I guess not. All right, so yeah, that was, that was pretty easy. That was really easy, actually. Um, I love it. Yeah, my Spinos are very, very capable. I feel like you didn't, yeah, you didn't even come into the arena. Wow, didn't even have the full army. God damn. <laughs> It happens. I didn't notice that one hanging way off to the side. So, rip. Uh, this one down by like 9k. Yeah, they're all kind of good. But we got to find the um, the stuff. Let's see. I like how my Uteranus is just like floating. <laughs> oh my god. All right, come on. Where the hell's the stuff, man? Where is it? Who has the stuff? <laughs> I can't actually find it. Oh, there we go. Okay, look at this one. Hardly took any damage. Nice. Okay, that's a good amount of element, actually. I think we got 110 from the beta, so alpha is uh, 220. That's pretty good. It's like double the amount. I mean, like, yeah, this is this is a really easy way of getting some element. Like, 370, and, like, it just took a good amount of artifacts. A couple items you get from creatures that are, you know, you're just, you're just going to come across those items anyway. Um, and, yeah, just an army of creatures. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. I mean, like, it's easy for me. I've got, like, really freaking mutated creatures, but at the same time, it's still easy. Like, I don't I don't think this boss fight's ever something that people struggle with, especially now that it, it can't kill you with its rock when it throws it at you. So that's definitely a win for us. And look, we did get one from the beta. Apparently, I'm just stupid. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Did I get a... F oh, I did get a flag. Sweet. Okay, so we got three flags and we got two dermises. Let's, uh, let's bring those with us. And we have to leave all the rest here because I'm not allowed to bring these through the obelisk. But when we do want them on a different map, I just go ahead and I drop them on whatever map I got them on. Usually it's the island. I drop them here and then I will just go ahead and spawn another one in over on another map. I mostly just do that so when I want to like decorate places, I can do that, you know. So yeah, I always drop one though. <laughs> all right, so maybe I should bring back this element to the base here on the island and... I think we're gonna maybe build some tech stuff because we actually have quite a few things unlocked right now. Uh, so yeah, let me take a little look at that. We have the generator, we have more of the tech suit, but I'm gonna wait till I have the full thing because these two pieces here are from the dragon. Um, I think this is from beta, this one's from alpha maybe. Let's see, what else? Um, yeah, we have like quite a few things obviously from the dragon. None of this stuff that I'm pointing at. <laughs> It's like this, this, the dedicated storage, a couple more building pieces. Um, but yeah, I've got some really cool plans actually for some tech that uh, I'm really excited to get going with. So once we have the, the ability to craft all this stuff and use all this stuff, I think we're going to maybe jump into all of that. But um, yeah, for the moment, we at least we've already had the tech replicator unlocked for quite some time i just didn't make one just yet i want to go ahead and make a generator a couple troughs a couple of these things just around the place because like there's a lot of places where i'd like to have these things um like egg fall and then also my breeding area and then also the base and just stuff like that so we should probably get back and, and get going on all that and we are dying of heat stroke because this stuff is way too warm so i never realized that this farm right here would actually be a really good spot to get these boxes of chocolates didn't even think about this i literally just rolled up started killing a bunch of parasaurs and there's like five of them on the ground here i mean there's 36 parasaurs up there so yeah that kind of adds up that is really good i didn't even expect that guys what the hell are all those boxes there 
Are those also boxes of chocolate? Oh, those are candies. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot about that. Okay. Interesting. So, we have an easy way to get chocolate for free. That's pretty good. All right. And how many candies do we get? We got five and five. Dude, that's pretty good. Like, 36 of these dudes breeding every few minutes at the same time. I'm making element. I'm, I'm doing all that stuff. And I'm also just getting free chocolate. That's amazing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Didn't even... Didn't didn't actually even come here for that. But that's really nice. Figured I would actually point that out. Um, yeah. So, I just came over here just to grab up the last few little bits of element that I can make. Because, of course, we're going to start crafting some stuff here. Um... What did I come over here for? Oh, yeah. I wanted to just chuck that into there. And let's chuck the metal into here. Boom. All right. Let's get some element crafted. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We have more chocolate. Okay. I'll grab all that in just a second. Um, okay. Element. And boom. We got like eight pieces. Cool. All right. I might as well just help the Parasaur do this. Or the Parasaur Therizino. That's what this creature is. Wow. So yeah, I guess expect me to be using like a bunch of these chocolates in future because yeah, it's not going to be difficult at all to get this stuff. To be honest, I could probably just farm chibis by just chilling over here and uh, just grabbing all these chocolates and candies whenever they drop down. I might actually do that. Yeah, that's going to make it really nice and easy. All right. Well, anyway, we're almost done here and then we're going to head back over to base. All right. Let's see. Boom and rep. Boom replicator one of those this still exists i thought they got rid of that i could have sworn they got rid of that because all of those disappeared on like a previous server maybe they didn't all right let's see boom and we have ourselves a replicator now as you guys know i have made the replicator smaller it's way smaller though like i probably need to make it a little bit bigger but like to be honest i i don't understand why they're so big in arc they are gigantic and surely something that does what this thing does which is you know a crafting station that can craft everything surely something like that should be a lot smaller like this size but yeah so i went ahead and just made it smaller like i did with the forge right here it's an s plus setting can't remember what it's called uh just control f and then type in something like uh rescale or something i don't know anyway so uh let's see what do we have to build in here um i'm obviously not going to keep this right here i'm going to move it um we're going to do that after probably so let's see first of all uh, wait do i not do i have the s plus versions of these things are they down the bottom like god damn it. why why don't i just search it okay yeah they're down here okay so we need a... Oh, what the hell is that? Floating triangle. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. They're basically foundations that snap to the surface of water, which is just a really good idea. Um, all right. So let's see. What am I looking for? Trough. So I want one... Oh, look. Yeah, I don't have the S Plus version. Can I just, like, unlock that? Uh, why don't I have that unlocked? Tech trough. I already have that unlocked. Huh. Okay, I understand what I need to do. I need to go ahead and kill my character. We have chocolates. Let's dump them into here. And boom, some respawn candy. You know what I still have not put inside of my base? A bed. <laughs> I don't even understand how I haven't done this already. There we go. Those engrams popping in just there is basically uh, all of those things that I was missing. Uh, it's kind of silly, but yeah, whatever. It, it kind of sort of makes sense, slightly sort of. Because I've already passed the level that is required to get these things. Because in S+, Plus they're like a, a lower level for some reason. Um, so yeah, they're not like technically techrums, the, uh, the trough and all those bits. Let's get back up here. So I want a couple of those tech troughs. I didn't even power this. Let me see. I definitely chucked some element into here, right? Is it still in there? Nope, I used it all. Let me go grab some. All right, let's see. So I want a tech trough for over here um, in the base. Let's just type them in. So we want one for over here. Uh, what's the range on them? Would I, I, I wonder, would I need three for over at the breeding area or would I just need the one? I might be able to get away with just one over there. So that means one for here, one for over there. Um, I don't know if I'll need one for over at Eggfall. Probably not. So let's just go with two of those for the moment. Boom. They're pretty expensive. P 
pretty expensive, but I think the only thing that I might not have a whole lot of is element, but also black pearls. Now, I have the element, obviously, from that farm over there, which is just a really great way of, <laughs> of just getting all this element. Um, it's not a super efficient thing, but it's definitely pretty good. We could also take this over to um, Genesis and then harvest up the element shards over there and just make element over there. But uh, I'd say maybe if we run out of stuff, I might end up doing that. So I also want a generator. So I want two of those. Well, three of those, actually, because I want one for over at Eggfall as well. Sweet. We're crafting up those. I might... Oh, did it say I only had enough for two? Yeah, I probably am out of element already. Let's see. Am I? No, I'm out of black pearls. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. How much element do I even have left? I had a good amount inside of the vault pack down there. Um, what else is useful? You know what? It's probably easier to just look at the list in here. Definitely would be. Uh, let's see. Okay. So what do we have? What do we have? Saddles are pretty cool, but I don't really need those right now. Um, we have all these building pieces, which is also nice. Again, don't really need that right now. I do have some really cool plans that I definitely want to do with that stuff. Uh, but I think, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, like, there's a lot of things I can unlock, but they're all from, like, the dragon boss fight. I think that's the one I need to do. I need to just try and get on and do that one very soon, but I want to do that with Therizinos, and we're not really as close as I want to be with Therizino stats, so we, obviously we've got to do some breeding and stuff with that, but, uh, let's at least get some of this stuff placed down around the place, and I gotta move this, but I'll wait for it to power down just in case I need it again. Um... Okay, so I think let's head over to the breeding area first of all, and then I'll just place my stuff over there. I want the generator. It's on my hotbar. I want the generator probably where this one is, actually. So let's go ahead and just pick this one up. Um, pick it up. And how much gas is in here? Still a good amount, actually. All right, let me pick this up as well. Oh, crap. I should have picked that other piece up first. All right, whatever. So let's place this down here. And I forgot the element, didn't I? Yep, of course I did. Okay, I'm kind of wondering though, can I see the range from here? Show generator range, okay. Does that encompass everything? Oh, hell yeah, it actually does. Oh dude, that's awesome. Wait, 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 does it encompass this whole thing though? Oh, look, it's so close. Oh my God, it's so close to being able to also power these. Are you kidding me? Like another five foundations and I'd probably be able to do that. Hmm. Maybe I'll just increase it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that is, uh, that's awesome. I, I just, ah, oh, that would have been great if it actually encompassed all of this stuff. To be honest, actually. Wait. If I put it in the center, it might be able to do that because depending on where it's coming out over here, if it, if it has this whole building on the inside. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Okay, so if I just move the generator, I should be able to power the whole uh, area here. Maybe. Might might not actually be able to do that, actually, because it's barely just over the line here. And I'd say that's probably maybe like two. Uh, I, I don't know. I might be able to. I'll play around with it. And if I can't, then maybe I'll just increase the range. I mean, I, didn't, I don't think I've touched the range at all, so it can't hurt to just kick it up a couple more. Um, yeah. We need to actually go ahead and do that soon because these turrets are offline right now. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And we got to get a trough in here, obviously. So let's see. I'll just basically p place it down where this one is. Let's just pull out all of that and pick up the... Oh, that's not what I wanted to click. Let's just pick up that trough. And there's the one on my hop bar. And then we just turn it and boom. All right, and then just dump everything back into there. Oh crap, not the candy. Give me that back. We had a lot of spoilt meat over here, actually. I gotta bring that back to the base at some point. All right, so let's see. Wait, I need to click the range on this one. I just wanna see what the range is on this. Show feeding range. Um. Okay, I don't know which one's which. Oh, okay, no, no, I do. The smaller one is the feeding trough. And that looks to pretty much, yeah, Feeding trough seems like it would be fine. I don't need to do anything to that. I don't need to move it. I mean, I could probably move it over a little bit just to get right over to the edge here. But I think 
most creatures that I'm breeding are usually like right in the center here and kind of coming around a little bit and I feel like they'd be slightly within that range and they'd still get fed so we should be good on the range of these feeding trough um yeah that that makes things a little bit nicer it keeps like the other two buildings a little neater um it would be nice to obviously have this stuff kind of sitting somewhere else I, I guess maybe what I could do is I could actually just take this stuff and maybe put it behind this building that would be nice because then that way they're not in the way in here which they really aren't but they're also you know the place is a little bit tidier so I think maybe I might do that actually I might just move it to the to behind the building and then that way it should encompass the whole area probably on both of those maybe I'm not exactly sure it probably will I guess I'll have to wait and see but um yeah so that's pretty nice we obviously got to get this generator over at egg fall but that's pretty straightforward this is really what I wanted to take a look at just trying to get these ranges correct and um yeah I'm pretty happy with this so guys we have defeated the megapithecus it is no more it is no longer a threat it was never a threat to be honest i mean that boss fight is cool i love the arena and i love the megapithecus like the design on it is so cool we're also getting super laggy because we're loading in the base but uh yeah i love that boss fight don't get me wrong but like it's just it needs to be harder <laughs> i don't know i've always felt like it was a pretty easy one my god my computer struggles to load in the space sometimes it's kind of scary um but yeah we've got a new pc on the way very soon very very soon look at you let me just check you out just a little bit so the s plus ones you can have the animations on oh that is cool that's a little bit obnoxious i wish that you could turn off the sound boom Oh my god, look at the freaking look at the particles it's creating. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is so laggy. Wow, okay. Well anyway, yeah, that is gonna be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. It really just helped me out. I do appreciate it. And uh yeah, me and my Megapithecus friend are just gonna chill here. I'll catch you in the next one.